that... Is that... the Ling Shang Su style sword technique? Chang Lin? Why is he staring? They could be twins. Huh? Ling Sheng Su? I've heard of it. My mother might have trained there when she was younger. She taught me how to use a sword. Admit it, you're impressed. Yeah, I am. You move very, uh, gracefully. <laughs> Thank you. Are you traveling somewhere? Yeah, I'm heading west. Really? Me too. What are you doing around here? I just, you know, happen to be passing through. I see. It must be fate. Oh. <laughs> A shadow lies upon your soul. So, I'm Shanghua, and you are? I... Hey, Killick! You found someone you want to bring along? Ha <laughs> ha I can't take my eye off you for five seconds, can I? No, it's not... We're going in the same direction. The more the merrier. Thanks, Killick. I, uh... Okay. Nightmare? So he's the wielder of Soul Edge? If my investigations are correct, yes. Kind of an over-the-top name, isn't it? Okay, let's go over everything. They're banding together. And their leader is Nightmare. He's friends with the jerk I'm after. A real piece of work called Astaroth. Then there's that lizard freak. And a woman called Ivy. Who uses a whip sword. That's one hell of a crew. We could end up facing a whole army. Nightmares are like phantoms. Wherever they appear, they slaughter everyone in sight. They're monsters. What do they want? Who knows? Killick, doesn't your master know anything about all this? I don't know. Uh, well, that's just great. Still, whatever we do, I think our paths will cross at some point. Yeah, at some point. Great. The order stands as it was. Understood. I will make contact shortly. Thank <laughs> you. 
Battle one. Fight! Defend! Who are you? I have no reason to Dharma Killing. So it seems my information was sound. I will tell you one thing. Nightmare has established a base in an abandoned castle called Ostrinesburg. Head there if you seek Soul Edge. What? Who the hell are you? Yes, fine. Tell me, Killick, who exactly are you? People seem out to get you. I apologize for getting you involved in all this. Stop acting so formal. <sighs> fine. I'll open up first. I've been hiding something from you. I'm searching for Soul Edge, too. Really? My country, the Ming Empire, you know it, right? It's going through some hard times. Violence is the norm. In the hope of saving our land, the Emperor asked me directly to search for the hero's sword, also known as Soul Edge. So, that's what I'm trying to do. I may not look like one, but I'm a soldier. <sighs> Surprised? Well, it means I've been involved in this from the start. <laughs> You're the first person I've told. It was supposed to be an Imperial secret. Does that affect things between us? Yeah, I guess so. Sorry. I knew some time ago I would have to tell you everything. So I'll just say it. Soul Edge is evil. It isn't gonna save your empire. Okay. If you say so, it must be true. I thought it was a little strange. How could that so-called hero sword save our land? Okay, that settles it. I'm gonna stick with you, Killick. What? But... My duty is important to me. But I want to know the truth. I want to see it for myself. 
Okay, when this journey's over, escort me back to my land. With Maxie, too, of course. No ifs, ands, or buts. What have I gotten myself into? I guess it's fate. Don't you worry about that. I know fate has plunged you into misfortune, but my mother always said, fate is carved with your own hands. <laughs> um, I'm kidding? Oh, right. Never mind then. Yes? Is something the matter? Um, no. It's just, you look a little sad. Oh, really? Pardon me, but are you a traveler? Well, uh, you could say that. I am too. I mean, I am from this town. I came to this shrine to pray before embarking on my journey. You... you're a warrior, aren't you? Yes. I was too. I fought for the longest time. It is why I can never simply pass by someone with as forlorn a countenance as yours. There is something I must do. When you find a reason to fight, you find a reason to punish yourself. I was the same. There are some things we are powerless to do anything about. People speak of fate, but I wonder if there is worth in sacrificing yourself for it. I feel so uncertain. The darkness of the soul can be troubling. It's always with me, like a real shadow, dark and unshakable. Yet all is not lost. I can't just forget the past in order to save myself. It is no bad thing to keep hold of the past. Those dear to you will always be in your memories, still. is the past, if you ask me. There are those you need to protect in the here and now, so you should wear a more fitting expression. Uh, okay? Listen to me babbling on. <laughs> I have to go. Are you okay? Yes. Pain does indeed lie in the past. I shall pray for your safety. As will I. Those I need to protect in the here and now. Are you sure this is the right way? It should be. I can't believe we got separated from Maxie. Damn it. Look out! <laughs> what the? So you made it this far. Huh? <laughs> Why? Is that all it takes to hobble you? If so, do you honestly think you can take on Soul Edge? You're a fool. <laughs> no human can bear that power. I'll stop you here and now before you make contact with the Cursed Sword. H hold on! I won't let you touch Killick! Oh, really? Why do you interfere? You never had anything to do with the sword before. For your own sake, stay out of this. I didn't choose to get involved. But now I'm choosing not to back down. One, fight! Ha! 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 
you can't win. If I were you, I'd back away now. Won't know unless I try. There's something strange about that sword. How do you like this? Whoa! Ha! What? What's wrong? Had enough? Heh. <laughs> so you controlled the evil yourself. Fair enough. Just take care. Soul Edge is more powerful than ever before. The instant you give yourself over to your shadow, I'll kill you. You've been warned. There's no escape from a ninja with the power to seal. Are you okay, Killick? Yeah. I knew pursuing Soul Edge would be no easy task, but... Once we get through this forest... Yep. It's the date we've all been waiting for. Who knows? Might go well. I just don't want to deal with any more freaks. One lizard's enough for me. Huh? Ah! Speak of the devil. Maxi, don't do anything rash! What the...? What are you both doing? Oh. Oh, what a cheap shot. Who are you anyway? You've got guts. I like that. Uh, are you Ivy? If you want to fight, Bring it on! <laughs> Don't you realize the position you're in? Let's see if you really do have any guts. Huh. You're no match for me. Alone doesn't win the battle. Ah! 
when I need to. Hmm. Shanghua! Are you okay? I'd say that was enough. I have fulfilled my duty. If you want to pursue Nightmare, I don't care. Do as you please. Hey, hold on! <laughs> Changhua, you can't go on with your leg like that. No need to sweat it. We're almost to the castle. Damn trap. Well, isn't this just peachy? <laughs> so the reports were true. What sort of idiots try to enter a castle through the front? <laughs> Leave him to me. I've been looking forward to smacking down this freak. <laughs> so you came here to die? <laughs> What's this? <gasps> Are you here to help us? This way. Hurry. Um, but what about Maxie? I'm fine. Just go. Impudent fools! You cannot escape me! I'm your problem right now. I'll have revenge for my family. Putrid maggot. You're dead now! Battle one. Fight!
Talk about a poor loser. Rata! Everyone, Cam, this was for you. Get a hold of yourselves. Her leg. If you cannot fight, you will be left behind. I'm fine. Don't underestimate me. Where are we? Sorry, but I have to attend to my mission now. The rest is up to you. Th thank you. Zhanghua, you should stay here. Never. I can't turn away now after all we've been through. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay. Uh, 
Are you okay, Killick?
is okay. John Lin, give me strength! Battle one. Fight! This is for my soul!
dangerous! Xianglin. Devapara Yuga! What a waste! It's fine. Killick, hold out your hand. Huh? This is... <laughs> I just couldn't resist. Changhua, could you hold on to it for me? What? But... Please. Okay. Thanks. I'll keep it safe. Great. The swords once again left their mark on history, and still the march of fate continues onward. The legend will never die. Mitsurugi was a samurai who lived during Japan's Civil War period. Apprehensive of the increasing use of firearms, he traveled far and wide in search of the powerful weapon Soul Edge, but his efforts proved fruitless. Disappointed, Mitsurugi returned to his domain. To vent his frustrations, he entered a tournament against Tanegashima Firearms. However, this too ended in defeat. What else could a self-made man like Mitsurugi do but face the changing times head on? the perfect technique to defeat Tanegashima. All I need now is a strong weapon, and I'll be undefeatable. This war-torn world seems to suit you well. Perhaps you have heard. An infamous barbarian, Nightmare, is said to be wreaking havoc with an invincible sword. An invincible sword, you say? You must be talking about Soul Edge. I've no time for idle chit-chat. Just you wait, Knight of Mare, was it? Your sword will be mine! Does Europe lie further to the west? As ever, I'm a fish out of water. Are you the one called Mitsurugi? It seems wherever I go, there are fools spoiling for a fight. See that? 
Strong. Ha! <laughs> Did you really think outnumbering me would work? This is nothing compared to the battlefield. You should have brought an army! I thirst for more worthy opponents. It takes great pains to keep one's combat skills sharp. The day I slay that Knight of Mare cannot come soon enough! So you're Mitsurugi? Is it true you accept all challengers? Is that what they say about me? Well, I cannot deny it. I welcome all who wish to fight. in my present form. My path to the Soul Edge is clear. Such a gifted swordsman. You appear to be well versed in the idol. Am I correct? You are indeed. And who are you to know such a thing? Just an old man with a knowledge of fighting techniques. <laughs> I cannot fault your observation skills. There's more to this old timer than meets the eye. of one called Nightmare. That is he. Do you know him, old man? 
Hmm. Perhaps I do. Then again, perhaps not. Come now. Do not be so stingy. Perhaps if you indulge me in combat once more, it will refresh my memory. If I recall correctly, a holy warrior resides in a shrine not too far from here. Are you saying I should go introduce myself? A most simple task. So, tell me, old man, when will I finally face the Night of Mare? My journey appears never-ending! What's the hurry? I hear that those who seek strength encounter soulage. If so, that your opponents grow stronger must mean you are nearing your goal. Well, if you say so, there may be some truth to it. But something doesn't feel quite right. Something such as the ornery rabble now surrounding us? <laughs> I did not come all this way to be stopped by petty robbers! Yeah! 
No rest for the wicked! I knew this old timer could take care of himself. Old man, such technique! You're no average warrior. Please, fight me! Though I'd like nothing more than to indulge you, that last move has taken its toll. <sighs> my opponent right now is my age. No, oh, come now! Are you sure we're heading in the right direction? Where'd he go? <laughs> when will you learn? You! You're the one who's always getting in the way! If you're here, that means Soul Edge must be near! Oh, is that so? If you attempt to block me again, I'll slice you in two! think Soul Edge would be around here? Can you not see when you've been duped? What? You've made my job a lot easier. I must go thank that elderly gentleman. Farewell. Damn! Where'd that old man get to? Hmm? A note? Forgive me. For leading you on a wild goose chase. You are indeed a powerful warrior. That is why I could not allow you to get near Soul Edge. I can say no more. No! I've been had! One as formidable as you need not rely on weapons and whatnot. Rely solely on your own strength, and you shall master the martial arts. As a fighter myself, I am keen to see what path you will take. Farewell. Well, 
I was able to test my hand against some formidable opponents. There is some worth in that. Still, we have unfinished business. Next time we meet, old man, we do battle. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history. and demon huntress. Her quest to find Soul Edge ended in a confrontation with Cervantes, the greatest foe she had yet faced. After a deadly battle, Taki emerged victorious, but not before her beloved sword Rekimaru was shattered. She returned Sofitia, the young girl she saved in battle, to her homeland, and then Taki, too, made her way back home to Japan. Foremost in her mind was the mending of her sword, which she intended to do using a shard of Soul Edge. Alas, the two swords were incompatible, and she had no choice but to give up. However, there was another sword she could try, the enchanted blade she hid before leaving Japan, Mekimaru. Mekimaru, without this, I'd never had been able to escape the Fuma clan. Wielding such a sword requires the greatest of care. Hmm. I had some idea. But I never expected Soul Edge and Mekimaru would fuse together this well. However, this power is so intense. Can I control it? <laughs> I finally found you, Taki. Geki? Have you been watching me? Mekimaru belongs to Master Toki. Hand it over! So Mekimaru still wasn't safe. This sword must not fall into Toki's hands. Watch your mouth! It's Master Toki to you! <sighs> not anymore, it isn't. Why do you still follow him even though he's lost his mind? <laughs> You're getting sloppy, Taki. I don't know what you did to that sword, but it's taking its toll, no? I'll be taking it from you now. Yeah. 
So this is Mekimaru? Oh, damn! Let's see. Stop, Geki! Don't draw that blade! What the? Huh? What? No! Mekimaru! After her! Now! It seems I'm stuck with the sword for a bit longer. But its power is too great. Could I ever learn to master it? Did you really think you could escape, Taki? And you, Maki? Just another hopeless Toki loyalist? Don't you see him for what he's become? <laughs> That's exactly why I follow Master Toki. Hm. I should have guessed. Master Toki says that if you play nice and hand over Mekimaru, he'll show mercy. Do you really think I'd fall for that? I knew you'd say that. It's true, though. You're still in his good books. And... now we're ready. Ah! Poison powder! You'll pay for that! You won't escape, no matter what. Nothing is more fleeting than a ninja's life. I shouldn't expect anything less from the Yasunobe's forces. I must stay alert. If only I can master Mekimaru and fight them off. It's a long way from the Manji clan's village. Hmm? <sighs> Those clothes. He must be from there. Shikisoku Zeku. What? He's some sort of automaton? <laughs> he must have used word power to control it. It's remarkable he could do it for so long. You did well to see through my contraption. Even so, when I reclaim that foreign sword, revenge shall be mine. That foreign sword? You mean Soul Edge? Soul Edge was a pair of swords. Indeed, there was one that wasn't destroyed. Hmm. Hmm?
What's this I'm sensing? Gallo Fury. Was the seal broken? Matters have taken a turn for the worse, but this can't be ignored. In a while, Taki. Esteemed leader of the Fuji Bay, please let me do what I must. You of all people know the horror that is Gallo Fury. Can you master Mekimaru? Don't tell me you seek the blade too. Do not misunderstand me. I need Mekimaru, but only to stop Toki and his madness. <sighs> so you're part of the Urabe faction? Yes, we are entrusted with righting the clan leader's wrongs. But our faction leader is not strong enough to defeat Toki. That is why we need Mekimaru. Through the power of words, you could control Mekimaru for a short while. I shall not ask you for the sword, but would you be willing to help us defeat Toki? I'm an outcast now. And outcasts have but one fate. Indeed they do. I'm sure you know better than most. That not a single outcast has ever survived! Fujibei, not I. <sighs> I will leave it to you to rid us of Toki's threat. I know he was a teacher to you, so I fear it will not be easy. However, I ask you now, kill Toki. Are you really letting me, an outcast, walk away? If it's to fulfill my faction's duty, then yes. I shall call off your pursuers to make it easier for you. And I shall entrust you with this. And this is? Ranjatai. Incense imbued with the celestial power. There is nothing better for sealing demons. Thank you. But remember, I'll do what I must, nothing more. Yes. I expect our paths will not cross again. Farewell. Shuki.
I thought I was adept at stealth. To think I'd be sniffed out like this. Well, our specialty is sniffing out ghosts. <laughs> Why are you sticking your nose in now? <laughs> Does an outcast really need to ask? I took you for one who'd idly obey Toki's orders. Ha! <laughs> is it that obvious? You're correct. I'm not interested in Nekimaru. I simply seek Gallo Fury to use as I like. What? Tell me, Taki. How do you intend to seal him? He's absorbed the power of other demons around him and is far stronger than ever before. Mekimaru can take care of Gallo Fury. Huh? I won't fall for your tricks, Taki. There must be more to it. What are you hiding? Tell me! Using a vengeful spirit? Evil wretch! You will tell me everything. <laughs> And Nime are both vengeful spirits, too? The seal worked. I hope. Ah, I saw everything. She used... Ranjatai. Now I see. She must have stolen it. <laughs> uh, uh, this body has outgrown its usefulness. I need to find another. <laughs> Though I'd like to discover his true form, I must focus on sealing Gello Fury. Hokoji Temple is nearby. The aura is overpowering. An ambush? Yeki, you're possessed by Gallo Fury. Battle 
One. Fight! An aura so eldritch. You go! Now! <laughs> Ever the hard worker, Taki. Even though you're an outcast. Shut up! It's Toki's turn next! Master Toki's probably not even in these lands anymore. What? <laughs> Did you really think he knew nothing of Soul Edge? Mekimaru's power pales in comparison. <sighs> Pursuing Toki will lead me to Soul Edge. This must be fate. It's just something I must do. Time to cross the seas once more. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history. <laughs> <laughs> 